Hello, my name is Miss Emma. Yes, I'm a qualified teacher and a very experienced teacher. I have a passion for children and I'm constantly learning. What I learnt when I got to Australia about eight or nine years ago was that the information that was being shared was being shared widely. We had an Australian inquiry into the teaching of literacy. We've got the Rose Report, the National Reading Panel. The difficulty is that teachers were not sure, are not sure, how to implement any changes. Thinking about teaching reading, teaching children to read, the learning to read stage, not so much the reading to learn stage. In the learning to read stage, we know what is needed. It's very clear. We can see the research. The difficulty is implementing this. How do we do it? Now, researchers are very clear on what they believe. When you talk to one and it's different than the other, the research is very difficult for teachers to really follow a lot of the time because it keeps changing. Educational research is not particularly reliable. As we know, if we look at, for example, New South Wales, last year have admitted that they're wasting $50 million on reading recovery, finding it doesn't work. Too little, too late, too expensive, and really, we shouldn't need to recover children from anything. In Australia, of course, we've also now got the Australian curriculum. That's supposed to create consistency. All the research has been looked at so that we have an Australian curriculum that is supposed to be based on what people have already discovered and found out for us as teachers that we need to teach. So we've got this document that we use so we can look at all the different strands and we make sure when we're teaching that we are covering all the strands. Now again, because I found that it was so difficult for teachers to do this, some schools, teachers are having to use four or five different programmes if they're following the phase two literacy routine, which is a two hour daily literacy block in uh, the foundation and year one year levels, they know that every strand in the Akara document is covered. Now, obviously, SSP is a program I've developed based on what I do. Akara, I'm not linked with Akara. We have nothing to do with Akara. What I've done is looked at the Australian curriculum and gone through every strand and looked at all the activities that we do in SSP and said, right, this is proof if you need evidence of how we're covering every strand. So if you're following the phase two um, routine, you're basically covering everything you need to cover using one approach, one program without having to mix and match. One of the other really exciting parts of this is that I actually personally support everybody who's in the support group. But teachers are collaborating with each other. So when questions are posed, and it's a very kind, accepting environment, so teachers can ask anything. Without... What's happening is teachers that are new to SSP are asking questions that the teachers six months ago who started had, and those teachers are supporting those teachers because everybody understands the learning journey. So the focus is actually just as much on the learning journey of the teachers as of the students, because learning how to teach reading and spelling has been very difficult for a lot of teachers. It's been very difficult to get solutions, to get resources and things that fit with their philosophy of teaching. SSP is a very child centred approach. It's teachers who really want to educate hearts and minds not just get the best educational outcomes for all. But the research is there. We have an Australian curriculum. The literacy curriculum is based on the research. So if you're using anything that means that you're covering all those strands, then of course it is evidence it's research based because it's based on what the Australian curriculum is telling us we need to do. So if any teacher is using SSP, and you want to argue with them about why they should be using SSP, then just understand that then you're arguing with the ACARA document, with the Australian curriculum, because we are covering every strand. Now, as I said, the big issue that I found with teachers is not the lack of information. All teachers have access to all the information. It's the how. And the big difficulty is that the people who are trying to tell us how cannot do it themselves. They think they can, or they're making an attempt at doing so. They're often professors or speech therapists or what have you. They're people who have read research or done research and therefore think that they can do. But these are children. These are students, individual, human, beautiful beings. 
Just because you understand tennis doesn't mean that you're going to be a fantastic tennis coach. You can watch tennis, research tennis, you get out on that court with a child, and unless you have the gift of teaching, you are not going to help that child be the best tennis player they can be. Teachers need new tools, and that's what I've given them. I've given them new tools so that they are learning new ways of doing things. And together, teachers can bring about that change. Researchers could learn so much by simply observing exceptional teachers. Policy makers and leaders could learn so much more about effective ways of spending money, supporting teachers, training teachers and getting better outcomes. Start listening to teachers.